All right, let's create our controller for our users. Uh, just as good habit, I'm going to create a new branch, and I'll use the checkout dash b uh, new users controller. And so now I've got a new branch that I have checked out here, and when I'm happy with that, I'll, I'll merge it back into master. And I could even delete this branch just to keep it real uh, clear that if things are messy, that's on on this branch it has nothing to do with the the known good state that I like to keep the master branch in. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to generate and the G stands for generate a controller and it's for our users. Now I'm going to add this other parameter here, no test framework because I don't want Rails to create test files uh, for its default implementation. Remember we're going to be using our spec instead. So here we go. We create this users controller and what's going to happen is that <coughs> Rails is going to create our new controller in this file. A directory because our controller is going to have to be connected to some particular views for those views and then a place to hold methods that maybe are specific to the users uh, and any JavaScript and CSS that's specific to that controller. Um, but we'll, we'll ignore most of that but right now. Let's go ahead and look at our controller. By edit app controllers, users controller. And as you can see, just like our initial user model, it's very simple. Our users controller inherits from our application controller. And so it's going to inherit a lot of its behavior from this method right here. And so we are only going to have to do a few things in in here to get the get it to work properly and at this point we've created our controller